play it because yeah. you're in jazz. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because I just was purely a classical pianist while in Brazil and it wasn't until I moved here that I um, really ventured out to jazz, uh, started singing. I learned like pop and rock and all of these other genres that yeah, right. were available to us. <laughs> oh, that's super cool. Yeah, so cool. Then I came home from school in fourth grade and I saw the piano in the living room and she had surprised me with the, this oh, wow. big, beautiful <laughs> piano. And I remember just being so happy and yeah, I just played right. that like all the time. Like my mom literally had to like say, Isabella, you need to stop playing now so we can have dinner <laughs> and then bring me back because I would just not stop playing the piano. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's yeah. great. I mean, that's yeah, very cool. Yeah. But then you, you, did you go to college for music? No. <laughs> so this is. <laughs> so I went to school for engineering, uh -huh. um, which I love. It's different than music, but um, right. Music has always been my passion. I did have a minor in music, and I actually chose WPI. That's where I went to school, Worcester Polytechnic uh -huh. Institute in Massachusetts, because they do have an incredible music program. Right. And I thought that I could do a little bit of both. My passion for math has always, had always been there growing up mm -hmm. um so i went to engineering school and then minored in music and that's pretty i mean do you see a connection between engineering and music oh absolutely yeah what do you what do you what I mean, is it for you music is very mathematical right. and very logical um and there is creativity in engineering too I, I'm, I'm a civil engineer mm -hmm. an engineer by trade so um there is a lot of creativity that goes into designing a building or a bridge. Sure. Um, and the same creativity can be translated into music and vice versa. <laughs>